Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice to um, converts and Noahides and to Bali Chova, those returning to Judaism. And a very perceptive young lady. Again, this this will be, I promise, this will be the last one <laughs> involving the Korach Rebellion. Uh, a passage in the book of Numbers that fascinates us. Um, the very perceptive lady, uh, young lady, this girl came up to me and she says, seriously, splitting the earth open, having uh, Korach and his guys fall in, closing it, it's a little over the top, a little dramatic. Why? Uh, he could have done anything. It would have been a bolt of lightning. could have just incinerated them. He just could have you know, had them change their minds. It could have dropped dead. Why the earthquake? Why the splitting of the earth? Why the... It's just, you know, why? And I was reminded um, of a story regarding the Orsameach. Uh, two people approached the Orsameach <clears throat> with a dispute involving real estate. Um, one person said, oh, this little piece, it wasn't that much, a little piece of property, tiny, like a, almost like a garden. It's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine, it's mine. I bought it, I bought it. And of course, neither of them witnesses, neither of them had any documentary proof. They just asserted, it's my property. Your Sameach tried to get them to settle. He says, you know what? You have to, you have to settle. You have to compromise. You got to do something. You can't. So you, you don't, you don't want to settle. Each one wants to claim victory. Each one wants the other one to surrender. That's not settling. Each party simply would not hear it. They were intractable. They were um, very stubborn. So the Orsame hit upon a very um, interesting solution. He says, "I can't resolve this dispute. I can't make a judgment." Unless I see the property. So they get up, they go out, they uh, head out to the edge of town to see this property. It's not all that big. It's, you know. And so they're standing on the pathway. Or some man goes out to the middle of the property. He's seeing him bending over and he's talking to the ground. And the men are looking at each other saying, what? what's going on? He's or some man's having a conversation with the ground. And um, after a little while, after his little talk, the Orsamech um, comes back. He says, I told the ground that one of you claimed ownership. And um, I'm supposed to be the, the to, 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 to make a judgment, so what should I do? What do you say? The Orsamech said, the ground spoke to me and said, I don't belong to either of them. I belong to myself. And if anything, they belong to me because ultimately, this is where they're going to end up. In the ground. You don't have to be a Sherlock Holmes to figure out that the Orsameach was alluding to their mortality, to their death. And by doing it this way, uh, the men actually realized, you know what? Neither of us is going to live forever. We're, we're almost coming to blows over what? A, a piece of dirt. And they managed to settle the matter in a way that was amicable to both. The lesson they learned, is it truly worth fighting over something uh, so transitory as the ownership of a piece of property. And I suggested to the very perceptive young lady that perhaps this is why Korach and his crew ended up being swallowed alive in the earth. Had he, Korach, had he reflected on his own mortality, if he looked at life, the grand sweep of life, he would have realized that his shtus, his re rebellion, was exactly that. Narishkeit. It was, it was foolishness. What? So he could be what? King for a day? 
Seriously? Life consists of more than fleeting COVID, honor. Um, one really doesn't gain a lot by winning uh, a dispute. Um, especially one that was just so doomed to failure as the Korak Rebellion. One needs to set his priorities. And one should learn and apply the ethics of a dispute. I'm not saying there should never be a dispute. There should. But when there is, there are rules. And one should go to a Besden, a court, present your case, the judge makes a ruling, and you abide by that ruling. That's the way a person should govern his life and not be swallowed up by the earth, as eventually we all will be. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.